Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what the energies are surrounding love for you right now. Uh, a little bit more about what the person you are dealing with or will be dealing with, what their energies are like, and what can you expect in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, so let's get right into this reading for you, Aquarius. Spirit, angels, friends. Messages, please, for Aquarius regarding love at this time. What are the current energies for Aquarius in love? Current energies. What do we need to know? Current energies for Aquarius. Wow, the Ace of Wands starting off strong. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. Well, I feel like when it comes to love, there's something beginning, Aquarius. There's something exciting happening with the Ace of Wands. Um, bottom of the deck, we have Judgment. So yeah, I see changes happening for you in love. Um, maybe you or another person are having realizations about what you want in regards to love or a relationship. Um, Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that takes their time. Someone that you can count on. Someone that avoids risks, you know. Um, so there could be an offer that is coming your way that begins something here. So let's start there. What is this Knight of Pentacles about Spirit for Aquarius? What do we need to know? about this Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Oh yeah, so someone's definitely thinking about the future when I think about all of these energies together. The Knight of Stones, Four of Wands. It's like someone's like planning for a future that is bright, healthy, a happy home, happy wife or happy husband, happy partner. Um, what else do we need to know about this Knight of Stones? What else do we need to know, sir, about this Knight of Stones? Another four, Four of Swords. Healing, reflection, rest. I feel like whoever this is that you are dealing with or will be dealing with Aquarius, they're not rushing into anything. They're taking their time. And there's a Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And it's almost because maybe they just want to keep things... I don't know, manageable? Because the Four of Pentacles here, I'm getting this energy of someone that's trying to be careful. Maybe they're guarding themselves or their heart or protecting something they value and maybe that's making them hold back in some way. Let's look at this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, Spirit? Four Aquarius. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four Aquarius. Huh. Ah the devil Capricorn energy okay so hmm you could be dealing with a Capricorn someone with Capricorn in their chart now the devil is a card about resistance choices that you make that might lead to resistance or restriction um, restriction is really the word I should have set there Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could have been something that happened in the past. This could be a situation with a soulmate or someone you have a strong connection with. I feel like someone's holding back because of some sort of unhealthy attachment or someone's guarding themselves or protecting themselves or protecting something they value because of this. There's like, there's like a little bit of a um, hesitant energy here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm yawning all of a sudden in the middle of the afternoon. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Empress. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, when I see energies like the Devil and the Empress or the Devil in like some other po more positive um, energy, then I have to look at the message as a whole. So it's not like I'm just thinking, um, and there's the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So whatever's going on with this devil energy 
whether it's someone that's dealing with an unhealthy habit or situation or whether someone might feel a bit stuck or restricted in their circumstances for whatever reason or if this is somebody that perhaps made a mistake in the past that cost them or have I don't know led to like a difficult situation someone's being very careful now because they're thinking of the future the empress ace of pentacles four of wands I feel like this is future energy someone's hoping for a new opportunity ace of wands ace of pentacles that leads to growth manifestation abundance the empress knight of pentacles four of wands it's almost like someone's trying to avoid making mistakes they might have made in the past or someone's thinking maybe a little bit too much maybe this devil is someone that's just a little bit too obsessed or guarded with or protective of what they want or desire we'll see the more we clarify when it, we jump to your person's energy but i feel like whoever this is they're a planner they are thinking about a new beginning that leads to something very specific this could even be someone planning a proposal or something like um, asking you to take things to the next level tell me about the ace of wands Why is the ace of wands here i keep yawning ten of cups oh yeah and the knight of wands look at this energy whoever this is i feel like they they definitely know what they want is the ultimate ten of cups which is like happy endings so whatever's beginning it's with the intention to get it to this ten of cups which is kind of the energy i've been picking up so far it's like someone is motivated by what they hope to achieve in the future and it's this Knight of Pentacles, it's this offer. I feel like there's an offer that you're getting from someone that they've really thought about things. And maybe there's some sort of obstacle that has existed in your connection up to this point that's not showing up yet. But this Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles that came up, it's like someone definitely wants, yeah, there's the Fool at the bottom of the deck. It's like someone's focused on starting something with you something with longevity ten of cups the empress four of wands something that maybe leads to happiness for you both um i feel like it's coming with this knight of pentacles some sort of offer that's coming your way from someone that went and this could even be somebody new that you've been dating or someone that maybe you've been dating for some time but this is a new step in your connection okay tell us more spirit what are the energies surrounding love for Aquarius what are the energies surrounding love for Aquarius at this time paralyzing fear fear is holding you back okay I haven't seen that in the I do feel this person is holding back there with the four of pentacles and I don't mean that they're holding back like they're keeping something from you it's almost like they don't want to rush you know it's like they're holding themselves back from being impulsive from doing something without thinking from taking risks can i get one more one more where are the energies the energies four queries running oh i got two yeah look at this true love and budding romance i mean i do feel this is a new romance for you aquarius there's something new happening in a connection um you could be meeting someone new that maybe they're scared to approach you scared to um start something with you um but more than anything i get the energy of someone that wants to be careful with you they don't it's almost like they don't want to mess things up or or something like that and so they're going about things in the best way that they know how because you know they want to be able to have success in some way this ten of cups takes time takes effort so let's get some insight into who this person might be let me get some insight into this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know about this person's energies? This person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energy towards Aquarius? Judgment comes up again, okay? king of wands oh yeah whoever this is they're planners but 
But they're not just planning. They're planning to take action of some sort here. King of Wands, Ace of Wands. And there's another Ace. Ace of Scrolls, which is the Ace of Swords. Communication. The Truth. Once again, another Ace. And then look at this. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Same energy we've had so far from your person here. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, they clearly have something to tell you with this Ace of Wands. Um, sorry, the Ace of Swords. I'm thinking about this Ace of Wands over here. And judgment is right before the world. So judgment is when you look back at the past, when you know you've learned everything that you've had to learn. You're having like realizations about your decisions or the lessons you've learned and then you're ready to head into a new cycle. Judgment is also a card about resurrection, revival, awakenings, personal awakenings. And when I have judgment with the Ace of Swords, I feel like this is going to be um, something that's discussed. Okay. Let's see. What's this Ace of Swords about for Aquarius? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Four of Cups, another four. Fours are about like stability and manifestation. So the fact that fours keep coming up, again, it's like stability, someone's manifesting stability or manifesting um, abundance that leads to stability, something like that. Four of Cups is typically a card about someone that is uninterested or checked out emotionally. Um, sometimes they might just be close to an opportunity because they're not aware of it. Um, it could be somebody that's focused on something that's already happened and so they're not able to look into new cycles opening up or new opportunities that appear. So this could also sometimes be a card about someone that fears rejection. And then we have the Ten of Wands, another Ten. And Tens are all about endings, culminations, completion. The things that are kind of culminating, um, leading to a certain um, outcome. I think that someone's very burdened by their fear of rejection or burdened by their fear of someone not being open to a new opportunity here. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone's definitely going to talk to you. This person wants to talk to you. They want to tell you this, Aquarius. I think they want to also get reassurance because maybe they're a bit... I don't know, overwhelmed by their own emotions or overwhelmed by what they haven't said. Tell me about judgment. What do we need to know about judgment? Why is judgment here? The page of swords. Oh yeah, so someone's definitely going to be, I mean, there's communication all over this. Um, we'll have to look at what to ex what you can expect in the near future. But what I see here is someone that, whoever this is, they want to talk to you. They have something to discuss. Something important with judgment, ace of swords. This is a big conversation. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Yeah, the fool. Once again, someone's going to want... I, I feel like whoever this is, they're going to talk to you about either the plans that they have for the future with you... Or they want to talk to you about starting something new or taking a leap of faith into something new. The Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they're a little bit scared of your response. Like they're not sure how you're going to take something. Let me get a romance hand. Spirit, tell me more about the energies between Aquarius and this person. What do we need to know about the energies between Aquarius? Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so you have something to look forward to here, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to make. Okay, so I feel like whoever this is, for a lot of you, I think it's someone new. Or there's a, a huge change in an existing connection. If you're already like talking to someone or dealing with someone, there will need to be a huge change. But for some reason... Either Aquarius, you're not really seeing it in that way, or you're not aware of this other person's, like, intentions. It's really strange. I feel like this stay optimistic is almost like maybe you've given up on an idea. 
Maybe you've given up on love with a specific person or having a certain type of connection. But I feel like someone's willing to take the effort, not take the effort, make the effort to prove to you that they can give you this that you kind of gave up on. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about their energies? I'm having doubts. And what's this? This is out of my control. Ah, okay. Yeah, so this is someone that I feel, they know how they feel towards you. But they can't control how you feel, Aquarius. They can't control how you take their, uh, whatever it is that they're proposing to you. Um, that's up to you to decide. Um, and I think they're scared of your reaction. They're scared of your response. They're scared of how things are going to play out. And this could be for many reasons. Some of you, this could be because this person is someone that you've never been with and this is a new connection and so they don't know if you feel the same way that they do. It could be because maybe if you've been dating this person for a while, you've hit a bumpy road or something must have happened to cause doubts on how you might feel towards them. Or it could be that this person is ready to take the next step in your connection, but you're just not in the same page or you're not ready for that. So let's get some insight to what you can expect next. Spirit, what can we expect next? For Aquarius. And this other person. What, what else do we need to know about the future of this connection for Aquarius? What do we need to know about the future of this connection? Okay, I'm actually going to make a little bit of room here. I feel like all these cards are kind of taking up a lot of space. Okay. Let's move these over here. I think I already cut the deck, didn't I? Ugh. King of Cups. King of Swords, okay, this is still fitting in with like what we've gotten so far. And the Chariot, Cancer Energy, definitely. I think this person's gonna come in. This person has a lot of feelings for you, King of Cups, and they wanna discuss their feelings with you, King of Swords. All of this is to move things forward, the Chariot. To move your connection forward. To go to this new beginning that keeps popping up, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Everything that we've talked about so far, the fool. You could be dealing with, why well, I, I, all the signs are here, to be honest, but the strongest signs that came up were um, Capricorn energy and uh, uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here also Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and uh, water. So all of like, you know, there's a little element here for every sign, but... Cancers here strongly. Let's see what else we can get with these kings here. Because I feel like this is someone showing up to you as a king. King of Wands showed up. King of uh, Cups, King of Swords. We also had Knights and Pages here that showed up. And then, of course, the Aces. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. I feel like whoever this is, they're serious. Um, I think they're going to try to show themselves like a king. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups. What do we need to know about this King of Cups? Two of Wands. Tell me about the King of Cups. I think whoever this is, they're worried that you don't feel the same way. That's what I'm getting here. Strength, Leo energy. I think that this person needs um, courage to approach you. They need... Um, they know how they feel, but they have to do something about how they feel if they want this to move forward, if they want to have this chariot. Tell me about the King of Swords. What do we need to know about this King of Swords? Wow, Two of Cups. Oh yeah. I feel like whoever this is, they want to tell you how they feel, Aquarius. And it's almost like they need to know if you feel the same way, if you're on the same page. 
Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Oh, we have the five of swords and the queen of wands. Interesting. There must have been some sort of um, difficulty that either you experienced together or one of you has experienced when it comes to love like separately. Like maybe someone hasn't had good experiences in love. This could be you or this other person. I feel like they know what they want, but there's like a fear of failure, a fear of more conflict. And it's like this person has doubts over the future that you might have together. Will Aquarius feel the same way? Will Aquarius and I be on the same page? Will we be able to move past whatever it is that we have personally experienced and be together? Because make no mistake, this person feels like you're their true love. They have a lot of feelings here for you with budding romance and the king of cups. Can I get one more for the chariot? King of pentacles. Oh, yeah, the king of pentacles. Like, they're showing up as kings the whole time. There's the three of wands. I feel like they're waiting for you. It's like it's going to be up to Aquarius. I wonder what Aquarius will make of this. Now, I feel like there's a little bit that I'm missing. And I feel like it's because this person's energy is very like holding things close to their vest or like and it's not because they want to be secretive it's because maybe it's been a painful experience for them or maybe they're holding back their energy just a little bit to not overwhelm you or scare you off or something like that okay what's this that flew out you are the only person for me i get one more for this person's energy I get one more so um extended from now on extended videos are only going to happen when the reading calls for it or when i feel like there's something that could be added and i feel like this is one of those readings yeah i should have told you how i felt when i had the chance where i want to dig more into your person's energy because like i was just saying 10 seconds ago i feel like your person is not very they don't feel very confident to open up or to say how they truly feel and I want to know why I haven't been the same since we met is at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like they are holding back, but for a reason, like there's a reason why they feel the need to hold back or they are being so careful. So I almost feel like this person's being a little bit too over the top or extra about how careful they're being. Can I get uh, some spiritual guidance for Aquarius? So I'm going to extend this video and I'm going to dive deep into your person's energies. I want to know their true intentions. I want to know what this like conflict could have been between us. What's the obstacle? What's the challenge that keeps them from just having this new beginning, the beginning that they so care, so clearly, I can't even talk, this new beginning that they so clearly want with you, Aquarius, because it's all over this reading what they truly want with you. But I feel like there's almost like a hesitation, a waiting on you, a, a, a doubt about how you feel. And I think there's more to it than just someone being fearful. So if you're interested in knowing more, then check out the extended. It'll be linked in the description box. Uh, the extended will be a little bit more detailed now, a little longer, because I'm not doing them for all 12 signs. So keep that in mind. All right. Can I get some uh, spiritual guidance for Aquarius? Oh my God, that one just came out. Keep calm and carry on. Number 19. Is it, <coughs> excuse me. This is from my Stellar Guidance deck. All of my decks, um, if you're interested in them, uh, they're linked in the description box on my website. And bottom of the deck, the signs are cautioning you. So I feel like there's two different energies here with keep calm and carry on and the signs are cautioning you. I feel like you're conflicted and spirit is almost saying, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Can I get one more for Aquarius? One more energy, please, Spirit. Forgive, number 29. Maybe you need to forgive another person, this person perhaps, or yourself. I feel like you're going to be okay if you just trust yourself, trust your intuition, listen to your heart, Aquarius. 